Turkish teams mention that they like to try and take this map control. Well, they're going very aggressive, but also use it as a little fake. The bait and switch from Aslan as he'll take the first blood. Absolutely wonderful to see such a bait and switch come in. Screams though, thank you very much for the free orb. I'll take that. Something we will definitely notice a lot in this game is that there's going to be an absolute spam of orbs, but in the meantime, it's a spam of ghost shots going accurately into the face of Cryptics, putting another one down. Link and Yampi are the only two to make a difference right now for Liquid, as Link will try, turn around, finds the dink, but... Avoid all of these remaining players. Decent read, but it doesn't matter. The Avon aimed DLL with his utility into mid, but the pressure's still going to be coming in. Aslan no! just goes for the wide swing! Almost gets three, but two will do. Tom, it could be a better time, but here we go. Kiro actually whiffing the shot, and that's not as comfortable as you would expect. The Marshal's still up there. It's actually daggers being used, but whiffed by Russ, and suddenly the scenario seems somewhat doable. Spikes hitting the ground. The alarm, but no, because he's still got to make that move. Turret's going to make it. Yeah, but it's Asl and MDLL actually getting the dink. I'm taking that one back. It looks possible. Kreptik's now going to turn up. He does turn up. One more to the right-hand side. 8 HP. Make it 2 on Russ. Spikes down. Information not gained right now on the side of BBL. Shock Dart is not doing anything as well, but here he comes. Talked about it. Yumpy's not finding that kill that I thought that he would easily get. And suddenly the retake's on. The B side that somehow works so good for BBL is still well defended. They're just holding the gate right now. Scream is doing scream stuff. Still alive he is. And he's going for his ult. Means that he's quite okay with health. Still, Russ is definitely going to fight him. There comes the smoke. The fuse might be just initiated. As though the fake. It's all only just a few more left, that means Lego can try, can find one, oh, just does that, but window is still guarded by Cryptics, and the kill is his, but again, can we call her by Yumpy? It's just waiting in the corner, his daggers could play a crucial role. I'm almost a little bit disappointed he doesn't have himself a, a shotgun, we're gonna see a counter ult thrown in. Both teams trying to deny the latter, and actually it hasn't really worked so well. Yumpy's going to have to try and push through, and instead he's just caught from it. The remaining players holding back, and the Seeker's expended in an attempt to maybe pick one off. The spray from Scream, actually not going to be finding much, but his Cryptic's instead the Flash, even catching a teammate, and they're just defusing. They've denied the first, but there's still plenty of players that could jump on Russ, and Lego finding kill after kill, and they're defusing this spike. The spam almost comes through. In fact, it does catch it. It's the time left for us we're also gonna see the count utility thrown out and actually they hold him in with the grab well and slam him down with the shock darts a lovely combo coming in from bbl and that gives them a two-man advantage in the retake and so they gravitate towards victory, that's for sure. Cryptix finds one, but he's trapped that in that corner. Soulcast and Yumpy man this advantage, but individually Yumpy is capable of doing so. Starts good. Nope, Scream is taking the room, pushing into the spawn. Here is the accuracy from Russ for you once more. He senses it when they're coming too close. Team Liquid, a prancing horse in blue right now in a situation where it would be about goddamn time to once more find success. Here comes the divide. Aslan is joining. Here is his ult, and they're all spotted. It is Aslan finding one after another. Russ is joining that. Means Cryptics and Soulcast are the only two. Oh, Russ is actually saving it. And it's Liquid think it's the fourth. I, I understand it. If you're given a site for free, it almost gets to the point where it's disrespectful. The fact that you're you able to take run. this so often. But there really isn't much fear. Now, straight away, with Cryptix getting so many kills in the last round, he's able to throw down the ult. Now, you can see that Russ is trying to play for this. In fact, it's actually Aslan going forward, but he gets caught out eventually, leaving things into a three versus three. They actually also get one player detained, which is a little bit interesting. The push coming back through, and this time it's looking a little bit more dicey. They don't have the ultimates to clear out. They don't have those cheesy strategies to play through. And the crossfire's working out this time. Lego, however, does manage to pick one from the heavens. But if they're going to go for this, they need to move now. And instead, they've opted just to make things costly and scream, trying to clear them out. But it will. It's just been the rest of the team that have been struggling to get anything done. They're going to switch things up and move into a Lego. Already actually hits the instant headshot. A player obviously hit an has just destroyed Liquid, left them running away. Cryptix once again has to try and clutch this one out. A one versus three. Uh, he's been good so far, but I'm not sure True. I believe in this one. Especially when, you know, you gaze into the barrel of Ruz. I Either way. <laughs> Let's take a look at that. DLL, time. Frax found. Another whiff, but unfortunately, 
There's a dart coming. You know, Scream was even finding another headshot, eh? Usually where Scream Go Kill works so perfectly well. And Russ again. You should run. Finding the easy one. Scream eliminated as well. Both Killjoy ults are out. Sure, that's nice and great, but Cryptix doesn't stand a chance when there's also the ult. Oh no. Of Sova coming in. They're both sucked in. And they're detained now. This is so unfortunate. Oh. The last player. Oh. A single bullet through that smoke. And as Russ and Co. enter it, they still overcome the majority. It's only one. Suddenly, he gets Sting. 20 points of health. A bit of the edge of the smoke. He was a bit on the edge of the corner. He can't find it. And the 4K from Russ in the pistol. Sealing the absolutely right now. A sinister scenario. Be faster. For the British core. And as Russ once more starts to find the frags. Starts to eliminate one after another it feels like he really wants to obliterate them entirely big damage dealt 15 38 and 100s this is looking definitely not good for liquid right now <laughs> one kill coming in off the molotov screen at least trying his best to make this one costly i'm sure they'd like to pick up that bulldog actually with the amount they've currently got invested into smgs <laughs> now they definitely know where cryptix is the dart eliminated Immediately, and there's Yamp finding a frag. This is the operator of the Finn starting when needed, though he's already been taken out of the equation. Russ tries his best, but one point of health. Is it going to be Link Fallen? Ain't the case. You predicted it. Here it comes. Liquid are fighting back. Big moment. Drone utilized just to clear any of those close angles, finding any information about the depth of the site. Okay, screw the blade storm. Man, don't need it. Another pick onto Soulcast. We're going to see Scream try and turn the tide. The run it back going straight in. He's running into a stack of players. They were waiting for him. They were watching to try and find the peak. And Russ just goes alone. He is tearing them a new one every time they face his crosshair. Is another death for Liquid. And Cryptix, he's been the saving grace, the shining light. But he's going to get nothing. See ya. Yeah, Cryptix is having a worldie of a game as well. Like, it, it's obviously un o overshadowed by the fact that, well, Russ is playing incredibly well, but also the scoreline doesn't really sing his true praises. But not only managing to clutch this out, getting it to halfway, the use of the lockdown as well to shut them down initially. Like, Aslan didn't really have much of a choice. And as he's trying to take down Aslan, no chance. And this is where the nightmare continues. If Yampi doesn't find oh, this, no. the flank is off. Run. And this is where I believe we might have a game close, Tom. Yeah, I, I don't really see a way out of this. They're going to have to wait down the lockdown. They've got nothing to deny. And Aslan, he doesn't even care. Still facing off against them, knowing the angles they'll be playing. And the Seekers, they're expended. They need it here. They need it now, Link. He'll at least be able to find one a second as well. It would need to be an ace for him to close this out, and he's brought it back to three. The fact is, though, the time almost seems to be gone. He doesn't know where the remaining couple of players are, and even in looks of things, they're setting up for a push here. It's Scream and Yumpy on the other side. Oh. It's a bit awkward for Scream. Luckily, the paranoia was strong from Ace. The wall also going to be used to isolate Heaven. A smart play from them, but they've got to clear both players from underneath. It is an instant trade, though. Only one kill going their way. The turret also watching for Soulcast that he has to break to be able to get back into spot. He's got a shock dart to try and clear out some of the lower angles. And actually, see you later, Kiro. He's gone too. Excellent. Start right here coming out of the bow of Soulcast. Now maybe they get a bit more information to finally get that retake going and start the momentum their way. And with this one, they should definitely know they're just waiting on Morneve. Oh, it's Lego who's not hitting his shot initially, but then he makes it work in combination with Aim the L himself. Russ now entering the sides there. We talked about it. Starts off good. The entry is on the side of the Belgian. It doesn't change the matter of fact that they still can't really find too many of those Turkish players. Two versus four. Scream struggling right now. Available for them. But look at the pace of BBL. They are looking to get right up in the face of their opponents. And some of them have already been no scared. Way. I mean, that was a wonderful warming. Lego just up here there on his wall. Elevated to take them all one by one. Man equalized it is. Russ also taken back into the equation. Which basically is a big, big threat right here. 
to Team Liquid. And Carol getting a lot of damage right here from the dart. Scream is at it again. It's now though Russ who might just change the pace of this game. Surely he has been the one who always brought BBL back into the place where they want to be. Find Soul Cast as well. And this is where the Turkish Jet could show his masterclass, but not against Scream. For Scream and Yampi is revitalized. It would be amazing to see for Liquid. As for now, no chance. That is the paranoia for you. And this leads to a charge over to the A side. They definitely want to come take control once more. Yampi with it. And nothing else than Soul Cast can do. Leaves it all to Link. But that's just pure power. Pure power, pure strength coming out of PBL. You can't do anything. And as there's no stopping, Aslan gets a lot of room for free. Seemingly not very much on the radar right here for Team Liquid. As he takes his ult to gain some control over on B, it's done with ease. And that leads to the possibility of a fifth with not too many obstacles in the way. And the scream within the Sheriff, Yampi on his ult, but the daggers, will they make a difference? It would be now time to start that, otherwise it will be the fifth. First one out, that's Aslan eliminated, and Yampi's going for more! He oh. even finds the fourth! A lot of the time we're just seeing so many ultimates available for BBL. This man, though, is still feeling comfortable. That's the second time in a row we've now seen Yampi win the duel versus Russ, shutting him out of the round. It's so wonderful how strategical he's just clearing the corners. In the meantime, Scream's like, hey, you can put out your Isle Drone, but I'll just pass over. Thank you very much. Frag has been granted. Team Liquid up by two, but here's the whiffs to make a difference. Could still have his lockdown. Not going to use it because he's going to be overrun any second soon. Caro's taking him out, and suddenly we're in a 3v3. Make it a 2v3 right here for Liquid. Spike planted. Oh, you wanted the lockdown, you've got it. Scream, he's gonna try and battle before, and actually, he's taken two with him. They're gonna put the pressure onto AIM DLL. He's being caught out by the Molotov, holding his ground, but he must feel some sort of unfortunate. One away, and I'm maybe expecting there could be a res, however, I think it's a kill. A few more ults. Scream, still trying to go for the wall banks. Ain't working right now. And as they're held up for the moment, here comes this old same one that also is right now brought in. It seems like Soulcast tries to deny him, but only aim the LL they find. And Kiro finally eliminated. Aslan has to do a lot of stuff right now. I think he this corner and will try and duck out the spam. Not bad. Ooh! Doesn't get anything. It's the no scope, but the trade. And now the attack have two players to deal with within this site. Ridiculous stuff, really. Yampi taken out, DLL back in the game. Cryptix tries his best, but Solkaz is here to assist. And the back and forth goes on and on. They know where so they are missing him by a millisecond, but Lego knows. He does have a cheeky blade storm instead. Scream gonna be pushing all the way through. Drops one and a second as well for Scream. They're gonna take this round into his own hands. The Molotov smartly used, and Yampi, well, wanna make sure that. He has something maybe a little bit extra alongside that blade storm. This is so much information. Only two players remaining, and they've already got a fast flank. The push gonna be coming in, and there's Molotov also into the corner again. Nothing that Kiro could do. Scream has dominated. The fair few in play now for BBL. Straight away, the lockdown gonna be utilized. Scream knows he's gotta try and get rid of this one, and just takes down two players, but the lockdown stands. They're gonna wait and try and hold. Russ actually dashes away after his second kill, but it's still in favor of these defenders. Now the TP to the site should give them the plant, but there is already a fast movement coming in from the remaining players. The tag even going to give away some of their positions. The counter dart expended to give away where their opponents are, but the push from Link could potentially cause them issue. It's definitely becoming quite a cagey affair, but now with the lockdown coming in, they're going to have to try and use some of their utility, and I wonder if they might just try and pressure. Knowing a player can't do anything, it's left just on Takiro. And Liquid, their resurgence looks strong. And uh, looking to bring to the table once we head over to the defender side. Ruz now knows how to hold the W key. And this is so goddamn good from the Turkish jet. Oh, oh. no way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see you later, Aslan. Uh, he's going to be feeling that one for a few days. And the spam through it, it's basically paper that's what you're looking at right now it may, it may be the illusion of a wall but it is paper on the other side now we're seeing a spike planted a few low players on the other side brass on 11 hp could definitely be an issue and there's no after plant positions really they're just all stuck in the back of the site 
There's no Molotov, unfortunately, for Scream, so he won't be able to force them out this time. And already aimed DLL is making things awkward. The swing gives Yumpy a way back in, and now Scream looks to make his move. The sneak Ooh. back, a double headshot from Scream. This is why we're a little dinked by Russ. Even though he was dashing away, that's the spike down as well, Zesh. This is already an issue for their side. And with both players dead, they're actually going to be trying to wrap him from behind. Russ, already with his third kill of a round, they've managed to hold him down for the majority of this map, but it seems like he's looking to shine and scream. It seems like Lego's standing anti-flesh. Yeah, it definitely does seem so, and it works perfectly. One taken out, that is Scream, and there is the wall. Uh, yeah, it's going to be eliminated within seconds. Does he find Soulcast? No, he doesn't, but look how much he slows them down. This is not only the wall, but they're also slowed in the ice. Good information for sure, as Russ... Is there with his rifle, he most definitely is able to do more with that, but look at it. The dart is perfect, Yumpy's also joining that one. And with 19 and 92 points of health, I don't know if there's too much impact left. Surely there is. When Russ is on the score, when Russ is on the battlefield, yes, it's alright. You know, I always love your joke. At the same time, the right click is being loved by AMD. He has not been spotted. He's walking past him, and he has walked past him because that little turret was not making him so visible. Still, it works. Each the site. Door has been left open, fully destroyed. They just hold the angles. Just wait for it. Liquid. Leave Soulcast far away from the pack. His ult is ready to deny it. Here comes a drone, here comes the wall, and this seems to be a bit of a mistake. Scream only finds one, and as Yumpy sees the legs of AMDLL, that is very valuable information. As Soulcast puts his dart in there, it is the young Finn striking, and there's not much down. And once they find Link, that lockdown is gonna come in, doesn't it? Especially with the time that's remaining, if he can get it in a place where they're unable yeah. to deny it. The only problem is the fact that Hunter's Fury is still available. So Soulcast could just use his ultimate to deny this. He's being flanked upon them. I wonder if this is part of the plan. Look, they've started using the Hunter's Fury and they're just going to run to try and shut him down. I think they've heard him, or he's heard them at least. I don't know if they were stepping as loudly as maybe I thought they would be. Could have easily shut him down. Instead, they've actually been caught. And now Aim DLL is the only one remaining, the ultimate not really doing too much. And he has to try and clutch this out, the shock dart even bringing him even lower than Cryptics. With needs to kill off Scream, it seems, but instead, actually, he ignores him and waits for Yumpy. It's still an only going to be a one and done, but Link falls at the same time, and Scream, he just about gets away with that one. I thought the ult was going to run out just before. Again, though, it's the retake, Zash. <laughs> it is the retake. It is Soulcast. Taking a long way around, but not using it for a flank from short, for example. And they're waiting. They're taking their time. And as the reinforcement has arrived in the form of Soul Cast, it is Kara who would need one more frag for his ult. If that's gonna make a change, we're gonna find out. And the little wall, the small one right here on the spike, is now getting away. Cryptics knows how to deny it further and further. They're all just coming from the same position. Second Nonner Swarm is in, and he tries to elevate his teammates. Does so, but this is just right now a shooting gallery that has opened up. Kara eliminated a 2v2, it still is. And Soulcast and Scream, they want to deny it. Here comes the flash, no more vision, and only one man. Aim DLL will try, but it might be the 11th. It is the 11th. And Aslan is actually still just on the edge of it. I don't I don't know if they're going to clear this angle. It's slightly up, but Soulcast is ready for it. The trade's coming back and forth. They need to get onto the site. And Russ realizes if he can find a kill here, if he can deny the plant, it could be everything. He's going to be tapping through the wall, forcing Yampi off the angle. And with both remaining players isolated to the site, we're in the same retake again. Absolutely nasty stuff, and Scream is back at it again, but now it's only down to Karo. Shot whiffed, and this is giving him a lot of movement freedom. Skipping through the credits, not the last page red. And BBL, four more to go. It's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, th this attack from Liquid has been... ...stalled massively. And it's down to Russ now to make a difference. Though the Turkish side fairly wounded. They find still a few frags left, right, and center. And it's Russ who somewhat brings it back. This only leaves it to Link as well as to Cryptics. One of them on 46 points of health. You talked about it being as thin as paper. And this seems to be where Russ was trying to abuse it. It ain't happening right now. Wants to deny 
that nano swarm, but it ain't happening, and it's surely Russ we have all our eyes on, because he usually was the component in that wonderful working machine of BBL that was working without any male function. It's him alone. Absolutely ridiculous stuff, but here comes the bot, and that one is actually coming fairly close. Ain't happening, though. Here's the flank, but is it making a change? I'll see you later, Link. That's already one man to the good, but Yampy's still going. We know how powerful he can be in these pistols. Cryptix has the cross and manages to drop one. It leaves just a couple of players remaining, trying to bring this back for the side of BBL. We know the momentum they were able to garner off pistols. In map number one, AIM DLL has already dropped another, but it's left with Scream and Soulcast separated by a multitude of the side. Russ already manages to peek off one, but the problem is the time. He needs Scream to peek him, and he will, and it doesn't matter in the end. Scream. It matter seconds until Yumpy is dashing on the side. No chance. Man's blind. The Lego doesn't stand. A single one here is coming. Nothing else than a few blades in your face, but Russ is still alive. The component that was keeping BBL on high ref on Haven wasn't showing too much over there on Ascent. Spikes down, the buy is in right here, Tom. Out. Still going strong. Solcast finding info. The peak actually gives him that close range battle which he desired and they need to clear him out of this spot. They know as well that there's gonna be the lineups ready. This is where Cryptic can come into play. I'm gonna try and pull out the header to maybe deny it, but they're looking to get it halfway at least. This gives Russ a chance in the clutch, and eventually Cryptix is gonna have to go for the peak. He hears the tap back onto the spike, and Russ hits the headshot! There, Actually, he ends up go. running out of bullets. That's unfortunate, and now Scream's gonna come running through. The blast pack trying to throw him off, trying to kill off that ult before he gets anything. Will he find him in the last second? No! And actually, the pushback through from LEGO couldn't have been better on the timing. Luckily, Link, our clutch king, has returned once again. Had to avoid the shock dart due to his low HP. And now, more importantly, they're gonna go rotate the back. Oh, at and as he's now trying to take the spike behind him, aim DLL will come out. Dirty. Really is. I love it. So he not only fighting every sort of outcome. Ah, and this is scream for you. And I mean this is the scream type of aim. He doesn't see a thing, but he can identify you due to your tracers. Your own fault. But man's blind. That's paranoia for you. Kiro is not making a move though. Pretty much intimidated by the Belgian. But that is Scream. Again and again and again. He will strike. Adil is not to be stopped. And the aiming machine from Belgium is taken out at one point. Russ still Ooh. tries. He's on a double. That could make much more. And it could be the third for BBL. He's off. Uh. But here's the Molly. And that's nasty. But that's exceptionally good. Link gives him some freedom because the bathroom players can't escape. They are aware where they stand. But this is Russ with the no scope. Man only needs left mouse button for it. As a cryptics still shines. Another of no scope? Nope, make it a quick one. Three frags found. The quad is just around the corner, but aim DLL is stealing it. And this is where I think one point has to be worth mentioning about Team Liquid. be a little bit scared when this shot com comes into play. We'll be pushing forward. Aim DLL already gets one through. His utility catching out Scream and Yumpy trying to make sure that nobody can make the same risky play through the smoke. Instead, Link's caught out by the Hunter's Fury and they're trying to... Jet, that's what it feels like for me. Now... He's moving over, and it seems like that judge actually delivered a verdict. Bringing it out only to two more. Russ as well as Caro could very much make the difference. As that close range operator is going to be very interesting to watch. They're running out of time, that's for sure. And out of options as well. 15 more seconds until you get the recon bolt. But if that's even going to be used, that's a different sort of thing. On the other side of the wall, it would have been Yampi. But I think he just got him here through the wall. Soulcast, low HP on sight. is not going... There. Like, the second you see the Cryptic is still alive, it's like, Haken, is, is Yumpy going to dash this? No, he's actually just going to pick it. And what? He is, and he might be just killed in the process. Aslan with what a frag through Soulcast, as Rust, at the same time, is not whiffing at all. Cryptic's eliminated, but still, five players. Okay, make it four. Now back alive. Scream, taken out of the equation. Quite well, and Aslan is going to try and reclaim those lamps. He does try to, but all the pallets in the face... Way. Of Omen. So no more smokes coming in for BLL. Look how he's jumping around. This is Yampi for you. The name fits so brilliantly. 
And that's good information gained. As though Rust comes around, that could be Link eliminated. And that is also Cryptic's out. No, it ain't happening. The Daggerstone hits. And as they try their best, surely it's good information gained. But it is it going to make a difference is the question. ABLL can't just easily push through this. He's low HP. Soulcast assists Scream. And Lambs belongs to Liquid. 6-4. Even close. The Spectre. Perfect tool when you're low on money and you try to take a close range fight. <laughs> Yumpy's out. And this is the man advantage right now. They try to push the side. Rust doesn't even stand a chance. A very valuable weapon pretty much put away. And suddenly the distraction is big. The distraction is massive. It seems like they're all just trying to push Hookah and take the room. But Aim the Allow is still there. Tries to make it work with a wall bang. But that spikes down now. Aslan does manage to bring it back. Both deny any further pushes, and with a second snake bite, there's so much damage being done. Cryptics, with their retreat. So this is the bait and switch, and it's actually both the players with the frenzies. There goes the escape. Now they face the scream, and this is where he just gets that double kill. The worst thing as well, if they want to push through this, they have to then take the huge amount of damage that you know you receive. So instead, they're going to go wrapping back. And actually, this time, that could be the play. There's not anyone there. Solkas has been caught off, turning it into a three versus three. But they've got to get onto this site, and they've got to do it fast. Aim DLL is doing a great job. And actually, he's baited them into confusion. They're not sure where this has gone down. And it will take them some time to get into position once again. Both players don't have any abilities left. So it's nothing that they can use to support their attack right here than just their pure firepower and that individual performance that individual prowess is now needed well it ain't happening on the guardian and talking about him the weapon that is just pretty much tailored to him unfortunately though that's not the old buggy but this is the judge and uh oh it seems like the end of information gone and in fact russ already being dropped lego also gonna pop the showstopper no and clear someone else but they're getting slaughtered there's nothing really being done. 30 seconds left as the ultimate ends finally. But they've taken a lot of damage in response and they have not got rid of Yampi just yet. He's been here since the beginning of the round. Scream still alongside him looking to try and deny the plant. But Kiro's still holding. Another player dropped. Maybe an opportunity. This round was looking rough. Waiting for the rotation to come in for the remaining teammates. And that's a player dead. There's nothing that Aslan can do to escape that one. Also clearing the corner. Without a fight. Oh no, and they will not. And as they quicken their approach on the side of A, Russ first as the point man is trying to find anything. Gonna be eliminated. Scream and Cryptics are absolutely ready. And Scream with that spray control puts it only down to Kiro. Man doesn't stand a chance. The 12th is on the board. Lick of the snake bite almost completely separates the push. So the choice that is there for the players of BBL is Cass is not only gonna slow them. He also, I was going to say, has the information, but they did get a little bit stuck in the mud. Screen caught by Russ and Solcast just spamming for his life. He knows they're going to be tagged as they go through. Oh, my God. And Link has already managed to pick off one. And that was actually, that was the guardian agent of Solcast. That's a spike. That is the spike. And, you, you know, that player, it was Lego who was just hovering above the head of Soulcast, was killed by Link. So you can thank him as Soulcast just might make the difference. A triple oh. is in for him. The quad just might come next. And that is Sky 